So maybe you've seen or even purchased one of the 13.7 inch rifles or uppers from Palmetto State Armory, whether that be the Jackal, the Saber, or even one of their AK variants. A lot of these 13.7s are using the JMAC Customs GFHCE. This muzzle device was adapted from JMAC Customs GFHC and it was extended. This is available exclusively through Palmetto State Armory and it was manufactured to their specifications so that when pinned and welded on a 13.7 inch barrel, it would meet an overall length of 16 inches, making it legally rifle length. So this is a key mount muzzle device and it's designed to work with key mount devices. For example, a Dead Air Sandman S. This works with any of the Dead Air Sandman series. All right, goes on there, no issues. However, shortly after the release, there was found to be a variety of suppressors that were not compatible with this device, such as this Silencer Co. Omega 300 utilizing the Dead Air uh, DA428 key mount adapter. So it's actually the, the baffle in this suppressor is hitting the end of that muzzle device and it's not going to allow it to, to lock into place. Now, ultimately, in order to fix this, the GFHCRE was introduced. This takes that GFHC design, it maintains the length needed to meet 16 inches, but it brings the key mount a little further forward so that this will be compatible with a larger variety of suppressors. So this is gonna work with any of your standard key mount suppressors. The only thing it's not gonna work with are suppressors that require key micro. So let's say you have one of the original GFHCE muzzle devices and you wanna know what suppressors are going to work on here. Well, let me give you some numbers that are gonna help you decide whether your suppressor is compatible or what suppressors might be compatible if you wanna buy one down the road. So when measured from the very tip to where the first lug catches on the device, which is that ledge right there, it measures 2.689. So that's the minimum amount of space required for a suppressor to be compatible with this muzzle device. The Sandman K, which we know works, is 2.780. That goes on easy, 2.780. The 36M and the Omega 300 both run just shy of that 2.689. The 36M comes in at 2.668, and the Omega 300 comes in at 2.68. Five. And all of these suppressors are measured from that first baffle to the front edge of the lug there. So not this edge, but that one right in front of it. All right. So that's what catches on that, that ledge on the muzzle device. So um, if you measure your suppressor from that baffle to that lug, it needs to be at least, let's say, it's gotta be uh, more than 2.689 inches. All right, if it's right on there, it's not gonna work. Again, the the, uh, the Omega uh, 36M or Omega 300 was really close at 2.685. And if you don't quite screw it on tight enough, it almost works, but um, it doesn't work. And just for reference, the, the newer GFHCRE comes in from tip to lug at 2.396. So that's going to work with a lot more uh, suppressors. So there you have it. If you have the GFHCE and you want to know if your suppressor works, those are the numbers that you need and those are the measurements that you need to take. I will have a list down below of suppressors that have been confirmed by the internet and PSA from uh, users out there, whether or not their suppressors worked on the GFHCE. Again, if you have the GFHCRE, you're gonna be good to go. Uh, it's just these original ones that 
uh, may be limited in what suppressors are compatible. So thanks for watching and have a good one.